I'm often feeling a move in my spirit where to the point, uh, and I, I, I've talked to many, such as yourself, that God would deal with, sometimes it's a tingling sensation mm -hmm. I would actually receive in my hand. Mm -hmm. But then again, I, I, uh, I and sometimes in, in my teaching, or I would not, I don't express that right. because God, as you said, deal with people in various ways. Right. And, uh, and I must be careful in what I, how I ex uh, answer your question that someone don't get hung up mm -hmm. with just because my hand don't tingle. Well, then that don't mean God is not going to use me. Mm -hmm. But God can deal with you on a level and in an area that he wants to deal with you. He may, he may turn around and you may feel a, a brush of his spirit. Across the back of your neck, you may feel that tingling sensation. You may feel the burning sensation in your hand. There are so many, there's a multiplicity mm. of ways that God may want to use a person. But the person, one thing remains to be a fact. The person will come to understand mm. that this is God moving up on me. Mm. And then they will know that it's God because of the results. Mm. And getting the results, man of God... Because I've seen you flow. I've seen you really flow and healing just happen like this. But talk to us how to handle results. First of all, you got to be dead to yourself. <laughs> you, pride, pride is a monster. Pride is a killer. It's self-pride. Uh, and I'm getting ready to make a statement that I, Apostle, you may get a call by. That's good. <laughs> but, but ministry pride. Woo, work it, man of God. Work can it. turn around and put stop a person, stop the flow of God's anointing Mama. because of who I am Mama. and look what I've done. Mm. Instead of giving Jesus all the praise, the Mama. glory, and the honor, is that but, oh, I feel the anointing That's of the Holy Ghost. It's the, it's the anointing that works in us, but pride will always be a hindrance mm -hmm. and will be a stop to the move and the flow of God's Spirit in the midst. God do not, do not want anybody to be used by him and then turn around and be lifted up in themselves. Mm -hmm. God don't want to uh, uh, throw out the... Uh, uh, that's the old expression, the baby with the bathwater. <laughs> God want to keep the baby and, if necessary, the bathwater. Yes. But what I'm saying is that God wants to, don't want to lose the minister. Yes. He don't want to lose it. But pride will stop and hinder. Mm -hmm. Pride will, will keep the flow of God's movement. Self, self will, selfishness. Look who I am. Mm -hmm. Lime lighters, mm -hmm. I call them. Mm -hmm. I'm in the light. It's my time. It's my hour. Working. Now, everybody. Stand up, stand at attention, because it's my hour. Mm. Well, Jesus is a great king, and without him, we can do nothing. So, so I think pride is, and self, uh, so much hung up and caught up in yourself mm. to the point that uh, you take the glory and the praise and the honor from God, and you look at as if the gifts that you've received and the things that you receive, you just receive them uh, uh, like you drum them up yourself. Yeah. Well, man of God, you've been in this over 30 years. So, tell us how do you manage to maintain that level of humility like you have? How do you manage to do that? I realize that it's, I can't do it. I'm, I'm a vessel. Uh, uh, the mailman brings the mail, but he's just a carrier. And as a vessel, well, then I realized I can't do it. This thing wasn't done in the corner. But I, I, God himself have chosen to use and raise up men and women uh, across the country, even in churches that uh, don't even have the understanding, of, and which is, God knows, I, I know I'm detouring for a second here. Detour. But, but if the ministry that a person is under don't understand the flow of God's spirit and the gifts of God's spirit, then how can the people be able, be ready to flow in God's spirit? Mm. So therefore, the people become limited. Mm -hmm. God, who is unlimited, mm. got his hands tied mm. because there is not a, 
a flow and and in order to uh, uh, deal with uh, uh, the uh, uh, facts of how you and I can actually uh, uh, maintain or, or flow in the spirit, mm -hmm. we've got to keep ourselves at the feet of Jesus. Ah. And, and another reason I ask that is because I've learned from experience that when God's purpose is on us like it is, mm -hmm. if we don't humble ourselves, he'll assist us. <laughs> Oh, now, now, I, now you, I didn't think you were going to go there, but you're ever so right, sir. He will assist us. And you put it real nicely. Yeah, he'll assist us. Yes, sir. Which leads me to this point I want to bring out. Because a lot of times people talk about the healing anointing. They talk about God moving and using us in our lives. But a lot of times I want to in this show bring out the behind the scenes stuff that comes along with these gifts. Okay. And one that I've seen consistently okay. amongst healing ministries, and you can verify this for me or not, but all the way back to Jack Cole. Jack okay. Cole was a great evangelist. Exactly. A uh, great healing evangelist. All the way back to Catherine Kuhlman. Yes, sir. Uh, Smith Wigglesworth. Yes, sir. Even, even Benny Hinn, who a lot of people challenge. If, in fact, he does that or whatever. But the, all of them had physical problems yes sir that were contradictory to, yes, to sir. what God used them to do yes, have you sir. experienced this man yes God? sir I found out this that God is not limited by our physical mandates and mm -hmm. physical uh, situation God is not limited matter of fact Paul would put it like this in reference to preaching the gospel he said and he was in prison he said, though I may be bound, hmm. the word of God is not bound. Hmm. So as a result, God is not limited at all by my physical makeup. Now, people will get hung up. Mm -hmm. And they can limit themselves from receiving from God. Hmm. Because they may look at some kind of physical uh, problem that the uh, person that you God is using may have. But God is not limited. Hmm. God can use anybody at any time, under any circumstances, and still be God. Hmm. And a person that, that knows is God, they're not limited. That's right. They, they, don't, they, they, don't, they don't magnify their limitations. Hmm. They magnify the glory of God and what God can do. Hmm. And God does, what he, in other words, he does exactly what he can do. It's so awesome because um, I, I just came back from Africa a couple of months ago. And, and as I was there, I was very, uh, I got perturbed with God. And I know some of you don't do that. You need to do that. You're not. Uh, but I was a little perturbed with God uh, because these people, and in, in we were in Gaborone, Botswana. Okay. People were getting healed left and right. And I wasn't even really laying hands. Before I touched them, they were getting healed. That's what it is. Now, but I had a problem because my mother needs a healing. Uh -huh. And I've been praying for my mother for two years, mm -hmm. and it seems like there's no results. I hear and, and, and I look at God, and I'm like, God, you know, there's something wrong with this picture here. And you know what I found? I found that that's my humbling force. I hear you. It keeps me very broken. So broken, sometimes I want to tell God, I'm just not going to pray for any people mm -hmm. anymore, because if you can't do this, you know, for my personal situation, uh -huh. then I'm not going to keep going around praying for these people and you doing it for them and not doing it. Have you been there? And how do we handle that? I, be, I remember, Apostle, when the scripture says this, we've been bought with a price. Uh, and we're not our own. And I remember, sir, how that when God says we've been bought with a price, he remains sorbent mm -hmm. over our lives. Mm -hmm. And seeing that it's his doing mm -hmm. and his working and every good and perfect gift come down from the Father of life, mm -hmm. his gifts, then only thing he wants is a willing vessel. Mm -hmm. Now, in that willing vessel, that don't mean that we don't have our own requests. Mm -hmm. Paul experienced that in the 12th chapter of 2 Corinthians. He said, I sought the Lord three times. Mm -hmm. Because I had a thorn in my flesh and a messenger of Satan mm. to buffer me. He said, but the Lord just said this, my grace is sufficient. 
is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in weakness. Mm. So, therefore, Paul said, okay, I'm not going to even talk to him about it no more. He said, yeah, I find out that his grace, I'm going to have to rely upon his grace and his strength in even those weak times. My God, that's beautiful. Look, I know you're enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. Forgive me, audience. I had to get mine in, you know, because the man of God yeah. is just so profound. And I've seen him just move, and he's so gracious at all times. I haven't seen him off the point anytime. But look, stay right there. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Click to the next show. You don't want to miss it. We'll be right back.